roads. Maybe you didn't know it, but some of the salt that keeps main roads safe in the winter comes from South America. Getting that salt here takes a dedicated crew aboard a huge cargo ship. It's tough and often a lonely job, but a group in Portland is making sure these sailors get some holiday cheer. WGM News 13's Lucas Cotovecchio has the story. When you look out uh, and see a ship, uh, it's more than just steel and cargo. Aboard a cargo ship in Portland Harbor, sailors in a foreign land, half a world away from family and all things familiar. They're doing a lot for us, but uh, we hardly see them. The 24-man crew of the Torlotti hails from the Ukraine and Bulgaria. Their job? To deliver Peruvian salt for roads in Maine this winter, a task that takes four days to get done. But not once will any of these sailors be allowed to step foot on American soil. Without U.S. visas, they're confined to the ship. How long have you been aboard? Uh, already I am eight months aboard this vessel. It doesn't exactly instill any holiday spirit. Then, in the dark of night, who should appear? Not Santa and eight tiny reindeer. Nice to see Welcome you too. Aboard. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Members of the Seafarer's Friend a faith-based mission of hospitality. We're coming aboard and allowing them to talk. We're here to listen. Year-round, they run errands and lend an ear. But come December, the group embarks on a tradition dating back more than a century. They deliver presents for the lonely sailors. A small present for you. Thank you. Yes, OK. Packed by churches all over New England, these so-called ditty bags contain basic essentials, clothes, calendars, even a hand-knit cap. It's a very simple act of kindness that we're able to extend on behalf of, uh, on behalf of the churches. It's uh, basically following, uh, following the simple commandments of loving neighbor. That's it. Before long, the sailors are sharing stories and proudly showing off family photos. She looks like an American teenager with those clothes, doesn't she? Oh, that's a sweet picture. The conversation that we bring to them, the willingness to listen, um, is the most important thing that we can do. The words don't come easy, but the sailors muster enough to express their gratitude. This is one noble gesture, something that added warmth in our souls, and we are very grateful for that. For one brief moment, like two ships passing in the night, a holiday celebration of all that is right. In Portland, Lucas Colavecchio, WGME News 13. And if you'd like to learn more about Seafarer's Friend, be sure to check out the FYI section at WGME.com. Be that far from home and not be able to even get off the ship. I know, and then all they have is the pictures of their families to think about it during the holidays. Yeah, but the hand of friendship sure helps. Nice gesture. All kinds of magical things.